Hey, this is Ariko Inoue speaking, and today I wanted to analyze Pearl Jam's early jam, Black, and see what kind of songwriting wisdom we can find in that song. So, first of all, let's go through the chords uh, that are used in this song. So the verse is pretty predictable. It goes E, and then A, and back to E, right? Very, very easy. But then, when you go into the pre chorus section, all of a sudden notice what chord comes in C, and E minor. Alright, so what's going on here? So the verse started out nice and happy in the traditional E to A, 1 to 4, very nothing to it. But then all of a sudden, the song changes character by changing the key to the minor key and then staying there for the pre-chorus to chorus section and that sort of a minor to major sort of a dichotomy is part of the charm of this song going in the contrast and it creates the drama it just uh, um, lyrically too it just uh, verses are dreamy and 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 kind of uh, it's 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 wishful. It, it just has a very optimistic, naive kind of feel, and then like the cold, harsh reality comes and boom, it just kind of really hits you, that kind of thing. But uh, it's easy to feel like a song only works if you stay in one key or if you it's in e major, it should stay in major, and it, there's no such rule. So it's sometimes you know good to experiment with. Okay, you know, let's just switch to minor key or let's switch to a completely different key right all right so next I'm gonna play uh, the verse melody uh, very quick here so it goes something like this Alright, so notice how, again, sort of really nice and predictable the melody is. It's just stepwise motion going up, it's just really da 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 you know, just... Uh, there's nothing interesting about it until he goes into that one note that goes high. So, that's a, a technique that I really want uh, all songwriters to be aware of, is that it's really easy to, to, to write these sort of stepwise motion melodies that just kind of is, let's, let's put it bluntly, it's, it's boring, right? So, what do you do to make that interesting? Well, put a jump in it, uh, put a bigger interval in the middle, and see what kind of interest that will create. And well, that's what Eddie Better did with this verse here. Okay, so finally, uh, let's look at the chorus melody of this song. The weird thing about this chorus with this song is that as big of a hit as this song is, it's not all that memorable or it doesn't have a lot of hook to it. But uh, I'm going to play anyway to see um, if you can pick out something recognizable, right? So it goes like this. Okay, so did you notice a part of that melody? I mean, the first part, as you can see, is fairly generic and boring, right? But then this part. So, if you know the song, that's like the thing that you hear over and over towards halfway through and then to, to, to the rest of the song. Right? That comes from the chorus melody and what they did, if you just sort of listen to it like the chorus melody by itself, you might not have sort of picked that piece out, it might not have stood out, it might not be enough of a hook to really mem 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 make you remember the song. 
But then, as a songwriter, I call this, you know, like a segmentation, right? So take a longer piece and just um, sort of take the small piece or fragmentation, right? Just just take a small fragment of a longer idea and then sort of repeat that so that it just kind of sticks in your head a little more. And so that's what they did with that particular song or the chorus is that they they listened to it and went, hmm, okay, that bit is the strong best piece. Let's just sort of lift it out and give it the center stage or, you know, sort of use that as a hook and then make that memorable. All right. Uh, my phone is ringing, so I'm going to go or I'm going to uh, stop for now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back with the conclusion of Pro Jam <laughs> Black. And so today we looked at the contrast between uh, verse in major key and chorus in minor key. And it's the same E, but uh, major and minor completely different and how that contrast makes it... Uh, seem more dramatic. Uh, we talked about how the verse melody has, you know, mostly stepwise motions, but then he inserted one sort of a big interval in there to make it a little bit more interesting. And then finally, we talked about the uh, uh, chorus melody and how they zoomed in on the most interesting bit and then sort of made a hook out of it instead of saying, oh, that's not a hooky melody, let's just do something else. No, 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 they took what they had and then just again fragment they picked out the fragment that works and then use it as a motif or riff or hook and and then they made a, a hit song out of that and those are all techniques that we can keep in mind as we're trying to write our own songs so uh, that's it for that song I'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>